What up fam? It's me, Frank. How are you doing? I am the owner of this channel and I'm ready to bring you another part of fucking Fire Emblem 8. Today, we're going deep into chapter 4, uh, and we're going to be uh, facing a lot of a lot of strange stuff. You'll see. If you have played this game, you already know what happens today. But if you don't, just fasten your shit belts, fa fasten your shit belts and get ready for chapter fucking 4. Yeah. Alright, this is the map. We don't need to... I don't think we need to manage any kind of item. Nothing. I think we're good. What well, we do have, actually, to do that, so I guess we'll shut up. <laughs> not a bunch of... Not a bunch of stuff, do we? Huh. Well, I guess I'll give you this. Sure. Uh, this is well equipped. And I guess a little... Trade. The swords to... Mr. Seth here, because we're using him this run, at least for the... I want to use him for the, um, the primed route, maybe. I, I was thinking that. Not in the Ericot one, because the Ericot one is different. Anyways, uh, I think we're just going here, right? The Zaha Woods. Ah, yeah. With her bracelet recovered, Erika sets out with renewed determination. Passing through the ancient forest, Zaha brings them close to Grathos's border. As they near the town of Seraphius, Eriki, Erika, sorry, all oh, the dyslexia there, holy crap, have you seen this? <laughs> Erika's fears are ass assorged by the lack of troops, but never before seen terrors crawl in the shadows of the trees. <laughs> Alright, what could these shadows be? Well, you're about to see. <laughs> We're approaching to Seraphio at the border of Renes and Grato. Once we cross, we'll be in Grato. Ramva won't be much farther. That is, assuming we can cross the border without mishap. Oh, look over there! It's friendly people! Those strange fig figures. What are they? Are they human? I've never seen anything like it. What could it be? Meanwhile... What have we done to the, the trials before us? What is happening to us? How could such abominations walk our lands while the sacred stones protect us? Lord, please, it's dangerous outside. The walls. Inside the walls. Stay here in the village. Those are revenants, aren't they? They were the vanguard of the demon king in the days of darkness. The tomb of Nazania describes them in chapter 2, section 7, paragraph 8. He, she, this is loot. He, she he does seem to have some sort of excellent photographic memory, like some of the savants can have. You know, the s people with savant syndrome. So she could have that. You know them? Duh! I'm a prodigy. I can recall most everything I see or hear. According to the book, revenants attack using razor sharp claws. Sounds painful, wouldn't you say? Yes. Uh, well, be that. Be that as it may, I must go ahead of travelers outside. You should stay here within the safety of the village. Very well. I don't mind of staying here. In fact, it seems my choice. Magic far more powerful than any monster's claws. The thickest scythe and the strongest armor are useless against magic power. Yes, I suppose I could study its swords, but only magic is worthy of me. Even in this village, were to be assaulted by monsters, I could defend it perfectly. So yeah, basically, Game is telling you, the village is not going to get attacked by monsters, don't worry. <laughs> and also, that magic is good against physical defense, just in case you didn't know that already. Travelers! You must listen to me, the ancient forest of Zaha is dangerous. Head south and pass through this place before the fiends surround you! Who the fuck are you? My name's Arthur. The temple has assigned me for the task of cleansing the forest of this... things. There are so many of fiends, though. I wonder if I stand much chance alone. So if I would, please flee now, while you have the chance. Fiends? You're not talking about the same fiends that served the, the ancient demon king. That can't be right. It does nothing but legends of um, fairy tales. Yes, I feel the same when I heard. And yet, here they are. This place is filled with them. I wonder how far they've spread. Surely they're not in Renate alone. But why are they here? How? Beware, your highness. Something approaches. Please allow me to deal with this. Evil shades, may the blessed light drive you from this land. Now you can enjoy this beautiful animation of the monsters. 
He doesn't even let the monster attack. That's not even fair, Arthur. Stop hacking the game. <laughs> we ought to help. He can fight them all alone. Do you have orders? Yes, finally we have the preparation screen. We have to make our team. We're all, uh, obliged to use Arthur, sadly. Um, let's talk about him, now that we're here. Fuck it. But this, is a, uh, this is Arthur, and he's pretty good. Like, as most units in this game, as I said uh, before, he's nice. Like, he's your, he's a monk that comes very early in the game. Uh, he's fast. He has a lot of resistance, and he usually has good magic. Also, he promotes into bishop, uh, or has the sense of promotion into bishop. He has another option as a sage, but um, bishops in this game are fucking awesome, um, especially if you want to do the extra uh, late game things, uh, because they're very good against monsters. Basically, they have a, an ability that does extra double damage to monsters, I think, or triple. I don't know how this game works. I forgot it. But yeah, we're gonna bring Seth, Franz. Uh, hmm. I want to bring Calm and Mulder, of course. And Ross. We're gonna train Ross. And then we have to choose. I don't think I'm. I don't think I've. <laughs> I never use archers. And anyways, <laughs> I'm planning on doing. <laughs> I'm planning on doing the archer run in this game eventually. So let's not use archers for now. Let's use. Mm, fuck Vanessa and bring Garcia. I, th I think I like this team. Let's not use Vanessa. No, f no flyers. We don't need them. <laughs> All right, set in the front lines. Like that. I think I want to put Seth in here, actually. And there we go. Alright! That was just a quick preparation. We don't need to skip that. It's very short anyways. What of my companions in the village in the south? If any of you can get there swiftly, I implore you to watch over her safety. Yeah, sure. We're gonna bring Luth eventually. Don't worry. Anyways, when I put Ross in here, actually, that was a bad idea. Whatever. Too late now. Uh, for some reason, the game decided to put this very happy music <laughs> against these very incredibly scary monsters. Uh, not sure why. You see the old snack from the south here? Our bag is hard to bridge and knock it over. Take a weapon to it and give it a few good whacks. That should do it. You know what I mean? I want you to give some wax to my lug, Cavalier. Wait! So we have the Iron Axe, sure. We, can, we don't need that. We can stay in, in here, Seth. Uh, let's bring this bro over here. Um, we'll put Calm to deal with this guy, I guess. Or, well, I don't know. I'll just throw a jab to this guy. Let's put the animations for, for my body here. Arthur. Archer. Arthur. I don't know. Uh, what is your weaponry? A sword? Ah, shit. Let's talk about monsters, though. Do you know the first game that decided to implement monsters for the first time? It was Gaiden. Game that it should be out when this episode comes uh, comes out, I guess. Um, so I'll be playing the the remake, the remake Echoes, and I'm very excited for that. And that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say. <laughs> but yeah, first game that actually. Um, for the first time, implementing monsters, it was none other than Gaiden. Yes, Gaiden itself, the memes. These guys are so bad. Um, and the revenants were around. I don't, I don't know if the skeletons were around as well, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure they were. And there were dragons as well. There were a bunch of monsters, and this game also implemented monsters, which is very fun. It is enjoyable, to say the least. Can you crit? <laughs> that is a nice experience for Ross. We'll try to give him a lot of XP. We'll try to use him. Huh? Yeah, same for Calm. Aha! Yeah, they are very fast. They sure are very fast. Uh, their promotion class is the zombies, and they give a whole level of experience, which is beautiful. I always love that. <laughs> Die, bitch! Oh shit, I missed! <laughs> they have to face all these dude dudes. 
Of Erica level 6, HP, speed, luck and rest. No strength yet. I'm starting to get a little bit worried, honestly. And Erica, you only have 5 fucking strength. I don't think I like that at all. Hmm. Alright, he should be dealing with this guy. And this is the Arthur Potter, you can see him, he's blue. He's very blue. Dabba dee dabba da. I know you thought about it. I know you thought about it. Anyways, let's go back here. And just give some extra experience to Ross. Wait, I have to be careful with this dude over here. That's fine. We will be good. Because I'm pretty sure he can double Ross. And I do not feel like <laughs> getting Ross killed at all. Level 3! HP and luck. What the fuck, Ross? That's abysmal. Anyways, God. Do you have any supports going? I don't want to see the supports directly. There it is. Nope. Not yet, at least. We can give this nice XP to our body here, Gilliam. Gilliam. I don't even remember how it's called, pronounced. That was not too impressive. I think I want to keep Seth here, honestly. Alright, Erica, you can just snag that log, as the man said. I will bring more units here. Just try to build that support with Garcia and Ross. I intend on using them. And... This guy's carrying a sword, so we should be able to deal with him, I guess. If we break this. Yes. Easy business. Ouch. The eye definitely won't do damage to uh, Arthur, because the eye is a magic user, and Arthur is. Well, it was just a unit with a lot of resistance. I'm pretty sure the eye will even attack someone else. Maybe. Alright, Erika. You really need to get strength. Like, it is. It is starting to worry me a little bit. Your strength growth is not even that bad, so I don't know what you're doing. Alright. Let's get these two hits here, maybe now Ross will be able to kill him. Although I think he's kind of far away to do that, but that's fine. What's that fucking noise down there? Jesus Christ. Oh! Who is these people? Oh my! Those travelers are besieged by the agents of evil! Ah ah ah! Right you are, little rattle! I cannot allow this to happen. Come! We must charge down these cliffs. Rush down to their head. We charge down these cliffs, and the other thing we're rushing to is to death. Well, let's just go then. How about we find this nice, gentle path down, hmm? Ah, uh, yes, well, let us hurry, nonetheless. Why don't you just want the job of a cliff to kill these guys? I simply cannot abide those wicked beasts running amok. <laughs> oh, the beasts. Okay, I really need to deal with these eyes. They are complete assholes. So let's just do it. Mm. He of course has 69 accuracy, so that will only mean that he won't miss, as we already know on this channel. <laughs> this, this place seems rather safe. We can give the experience to the, to the men. I really need to kill these guys. I don't want to waste civil lands on this guy, right? They want to attack me and waste it. Alright, go, Seth. Kill uh, the enemies. Ah, what a broken unit you are. Hey, look at that. He's getting a level up. I wonder if he's going to be good. Level 2, HP, skill, and speed. It was fucking great. I let remind that this is a promoted unit and he just got speed. Just like that. I think I can even do this. Oh shit, that's a bad idea. Well crap. Extra retreat then. I'll just... I'll just put him here. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be alright. Alright. Don't fuck this up, Rush. There we go. You get even more experience. Great. <laughs> I 
Now we can bring Gilliam in the front lines, hopefully. And we shall be good to go. And I guess Kong can get this level. Nope, he can't. I lied. Yeah, Rika has to be the one, then. Dang. She's making great use of that forest, though. She's untouchable there. So that's fun. And what do we have here? Okay, let's advance with Calm. I do recall being wolves in here. Why there's no wolves? I thought there were wolves. Like werewolves. The monsters. Oh, this is perfect. We'll put him right in range for Ross to kill this guy. Look at that! The Ross grind is here! <laughs> He's going to miss. Look at that. Damn it. Thankfully, Arthur doesn't kill him, though. So now Ross can even choose from two enemies. <laughs> the one he likes the most. Oh, shit. I remember that there was dudes in here. That is true. That's fine, though. Let's just move. I'll just go with this guy, because he has... 100% accuracy against this guy, so that's good. We can get even another level of a Ross. We will see that quite often. Level 4, HP, Strength, Skill. Now that's a little better. I appreciate skill, especially because you have fucking... <laughs> 3 skill. Now you have... Now you have 3? You had, so you had 2 skill? Dear boy. You are trash. <laughs> Alright. It's time to heal here. Our friend, friends. Our friend. <laughs> I know I'm fucking hilarious. Um, let's just kill this Kalati. This doot doot. <laughs> and level up full friends. Yes! She's level 5. He's level 5. HP, strength, skill, speed. Look at him. Look at him go. Now, Garcia can kill this guy. He's be good. Excellent. He's going to get a level up as well. Look at that. This is enjoyable. Level 6, HP and strength. Well, that's alright, I guess. And now we can put Gilliam in the front lines. Over here. He'll be... He'll have no problems dealing with these beasts. Yeah, he'll be good. <laughs> He's alright, look at him. And I guess I'll put Seth around here. No point in rescuing loot yet, I'm gonna wait. Filthy monsters, what do you think you're doing? We have really nothing to fear. Ba -da -da -da. Nope. Gilliam doesn't give a fuck. Ah, excellent job. Alright. Now we, I do want to attract this eyeball over here. But first we'll have to heal... Uh, Mr. Man. Let's just advance a little bit. Well, I guess I'll stay here. I'm waiting for these monsters to come. To come at me, at least. <laughs> I guess Garcia can take on one of them. Why not? I don't want that for as well. He's going to... Yeah, I don't want him going there. Let's, let's put Garcia in here. And let's bring Ross in here. And Paladin, Mr. Pal. And let's just do this. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get this kill with Calm. Fantastic. And I'll wait one more turn after this level up, though. He's level 3. HP, Strength, Speed, Lock, and Defense. He's good. I, I can't really... I don't really want to visit that, though. Well, maybe, yes. Actually, yes, let's do it. Because there's a forest now, I have an idea. Who are you? 
Mm. Your flesh shows no sign of putrefaction. It seems you're not a revenant. <laughs> that was... Wow. That was a good observation, dude. No, I'm not. Are you from around here? There are still monsters about, so they're just taking in. No, no, I insist on joining you in combat. My name is Loot. I'm a magic of superior wisdom and rare ability. <laughs> they call her Flute. I've been reading on these revenants. They are quite simply no match for me. I'm a superior. I am superior after all. What an odd girl. This odd girl is Loot. And she is a mage. The first mage, early game mage. And she is <laughs> very good. <laughs> Surprise, right? Uh, he starts with a C already, which is ridiculous. Um, she grows fast. Um, you, you get, you can get uh, speed screwed with her, but she has so much magic, so much resistance, and she usually is quite fast as well, unless you get bad luck. And she's, uh, she's, she's so good. <laughs> what can I say? She's very good. Uh, I'm going to use her. So yeah. Let's put it in this forest and just burn this guy alive. I forgot the animations. Shit usually happens to me. It's alright though. Alright. Let's go. Come on, Gillium. This patch, this bastard! Ah! Can you attack twice? Can you attack twice? Nope. You'll get this level up though. You deserve it. You're playing. You're fighting well today. Now Garcia should be able to soak one sack of these guys and kill him. Mm -hmm. Aha! Garcia the Great Warrior! <laughs> mm. I didn't know he was in range. <laughs> well, Garcia is going to kill everyone. I thought I was only in range of one. I guess I'm in range of more than one. Definitely, now that I see it better, but it's fine. He's alright. Eh. Well, well. Ooh, almost a level up. Oh. He's going to attack loot. Here is loot, looking cute and shit. And she's going to be killing this skeleton monster. Not sure if I want to give this experience to Eriko or Calm. Alright, we attracted the guy, as I said before. He's not gonna hit me, because the forest. Excellent. And if I can get a crit, that'd be magnificent. No crit. Well then. <laughs> okay. So. That is a kill. Um, that is a 2 HK. Which is fine, I guess. Let's just chip him away with Ross. And then kill him with friends. I do think it's a good idea. Alright. Let's use a sword now, why not? The banana sword. It looks like a like a giant banana or a giant dildo. That claw hurt Okay. That claw really hurts. It's a fetid claw, it's a different kind of claw. If you didn't know. <laughs> Okay, we'll just bring Garcia uh, closer, more closer, I guess. And we're gonna get rid of this eye. Ah, good. That's a level up for Arthur. She's, he's level 3. HP, skill, speed, defense, and res. He actually got defense. That's incredible. Yeah, the rotten claw is weaker than the fetid claw. The fetid claw is actually a little bit dangerous. Level up for Gilliam. He's level 6. He got HP. Mm. Don't fuck with me, G Gilliam. You have one more chance, but that's just it. No more chances after that. The bench is getting closer to you. <laughs> just saying. Alright, let's just kill him. Let's just burn him alive. As we usually do. <laughs> and this chapter should be done quite quickly. The strategy is quite simple. You just have to be careful with these reinforcements. 
And I guess that's just it. <laughs> and you have to beat all the enemies. The boss here is uh, one of these monsters, which is quite weak. Has a lot of HP though, he's a zombie. Entombed, it's called in, in English. Huh. In Spanish, it's zombie, it's just straight up fucking zombie. They just call him zombie. Easy kills. Easy XP. What is he about to level up? Yes, he is. I want to give him this extra XP as well. He's been a good boy today. Good job. Let's see what you got. Level 7. HP, Strength, Speed and Defense. Oh boy, yes, Garcia. Fighting for that... Uh, that throne. Alright, let's put Seth in here to chip away the monster. And then we can try to kill him with someone else. That seems like fun times. Let's just bring everyone closer. I guess I can kill you. Yes. Okay. Here he comes. That is the monster. Wait, that's a kill. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I just didn't thought it would kill. <laughs> that's a full level up for Seth though. It's actually very hard to give him level, so that's not bad I guess. <laughs> Oops! He's level 3! HP and resistance! Now not too good. Well, <laughs> we've killed all the monsters. I did kill the boss though. Have you seen that? Have you seen that? Everyone's, everyone's like Yes, you did really take that level up from us, did you? Still, we best bond the bones to Ash. And be sure to wait, they don't return. Just Game, game of Thrones style. I still can't believe what we've been fighting here. I thought those fiends, nothing more than myth and giant legend. Those revenants are said to be the least of the dark creatures. Yet, the weakest of them could outmatch any normal man. Not really. We cannot take this enemy lightly. Oh yes, there are much worse than those revenants in the tomb. Let's see, there's bone walkers, moth dogs, gargoyles, bales. <laughs> She's a total bale. <laughs> Why? I'll be, <laughs> I'll be just about any creature from lore could be walking again. I, I'm pretty sure you hate me. Yes, we're in, this for, we're in for some trouble. In my fiber of power, why not be enough? Oh, the fine light showed me. Is this a sign of the dark days to come? By all that's holy, what's happening? Princess Erika, perhaps. Should be, it would be wise to return to Freylia and regroup. Pressing forward since fullings, in light of recent events. We cannot face both Gratham forces and more of these terrible things. Seth, I follow your point, and nothing would please me more than running off for safety. But I don't give a shit. But what of my brother? He and his men are trapped in the same situation as we are. I know well. I know full well that I may be leading us into great danger, but I don't care. Please try to understand. I do, my princess. And I vow to see you through this safety. And now Larachel arrives. Aha, foul creatures, beware! I, Larachel, best out upon the honor of banishment and my blessed hands. Oh, what are the monsters? Well, we just finished. Ah. Glad tidings indeed. The heavens must be rejoicing. I am a tad disappointed, however. After all, I did rush all the way here to show the splendor of my might. Wahaha! <laughs> I will see immediately later, I shall. What shameful is the way you drag us around the countryside. <laughs> Pardon me, but who are you? Me? Since you ask, please allow me to introduce myself. It is I, the true light and glory of the sacred realm of Roston. Stop, Lady Larachel! You mustn't continue. Cause now, you know, Erica, Noble, should definitely know who Larachel is. Especially now that he just said she's from Roston. And fucking Dazla over here says <laughs> she's Lady Larachel. So there's no doubt she's the princess. You gotta reveal your true identity here! <laughs> oh yes, you're right. Oh, I get so careless sometimes. I must write off in anonymity. 
Ah, how beautifully romantic. All right. Fare thee well, strangers. Perhaps our path will cross again. Come, Dostler Renek. We ride. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, Renek. All right, all right. What was that all about? Ah, funny people. Anyways, hopefully you have enjoyed this very spooky episode. Um, remember just to give a good old like and shit like that. Um, hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode I do from Fire Emblem 8. So yeah, glad to see you. Glad to have you around, dude. Whoever you are. Kisses and bye. <laughs> yeah.